Yeah, Jacqueline, John Doherty was upbeat today as he left court this evening. Now, his larger-than-life presence was talked about inside the courtroom today. Jurors warned they may hear some colorful language on recordings, but he also has a large presence in Philadelphia politics, which is why this case could have such big consequences. And I feel good about it. Labor leader John Doherty leaving federal court after the first day of a case offering a window into Philadelphia politics. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. It's going great. I mean, you, you, you see what's happening. I mean, it's, it, the, the case is being laid out right in front of you by both sides. Assistant U.S. Attorney B. Witzleben telling jurors today this is a case about corruption as she laid out the government's claims, arguing Doherty paid council member Bobby Heenan bribes disguised as salary and benefits. Inside, both men sat at separate tables, but the charges against them intertwined. Jurors are hearing their own words on phone calls between them and others that the government recorded. Doherty's defense attorney saying tickets to this 2015 Eagles football game and a roughly $70,000 salary from the IBEW Local 98 Union are at issue and telling jurors John Doherty did not bribe Robert Heenan. Heenan's attorney arguing Heenan's history with the union goes back decades, that they recognized his talent for politics and that Doherty became his mentor. Now both men co-defendants in a federal trial. Jurors will decide their fate. Now, the recordings that started to be played in court late this afternoon, those included the voices of not just Bobby Heenan and John Doherty, but also others, including a deputy mayor. And they gave us some insight into behind the scenes conversations about what was happening in city council and why. This case is expected to last several weeks. Live in Old City, I'm Lauren Make, NBC 10 News.